As a cotton grower or a consultant, no doubt you've heard many, many times about the importance of on-farm hygiene, and in particular the need to control volunteers and return cotton. What I'm in the middle of here is the mealybug hotspot. And what I really want to draw your attention to is the practical implications of having a return that survived from last season. You can see here beside me, we've got two volunteer cotton plants that came up last season, but because they're outside of the plant row, have only been mulched and subsequently survived during the winter period. What these plants have provided, in effect, has been a green bridge. You can see the evidence of mealybug that were on these plants. They've survived the winter, and when this crop was sown, they've essentially moved from these two volunteer um, return plants onto the newly sown crop. And you can see that as the season has progressed, they've spread from these plants here out into creating this hot spot that now, if you were to walk around this field, has affected an area of cotton that is every bit of 100 metres or more in diameter. And this whole situation has been created by two missed plants, you know, not much to look at from last season. It's a really strong demonstration of how a couple of return plants in your field can have a devastating impact the following season by providing a green bridge for these sorts of pests. We're in a different field now looking again at more Solenopsis mealybug hotspots. And I really want to reinforce the point that in each one of these hotspots the cause for this pest outbreak has been a returned volunteer cotton plant. We don't have effective chemical controls and our only management techniques uh, farm hygiene between seasons just to break the life cycle and then if we do get them in season we need to rely on beneficial insects to control them. When we destroy a crop at the end of the season with cultivation it has to be 100%. 99.9% is just not good enough when you're dealing with pests such as Solenopsis mealybug. 